So hello and welcome, Mike Rob Hunter here and today in this video I want to show you how you can do some video editing to improve the quality of the videos that you made using your microscope. So I'm going to show you some basic color adjustment and contrast enhancement using the free software DaVinci Resolve. It's a very powerful video editing program but uh, once you know how to use it I think it's very versatile and you can do a lot with it. So yeah I highly recommend that if you're interested in video editing that you check out this uh, program. Now, why am I doing this video? Well, um, I receive uh, quite a few emails where people ask me about what camera to buy for the microscope. And uh, often they ask me if the number of megapixels that, that the camera has is enough uh, to give good quality video and or pictures. And uh, yeah, I already made many videos before on this channel to try to explain to you that actually the megapixels um, and uh, the camera resolution is really not uh, the thing that determines image quality a lot. There's so many other factors uh, that determine image quality. For example, the quality of the microscope optics or the adapter that's used to connect the camera to the microscope or whether your microscope has Köhler illumination or not. Köhler illumination increases the contrast or whether you've got the, the proper settings and there's so many other factors. But um, once you've got a video, you're still able to improve uh, the image uh, quite a bit by doing contrast and color adjustment. And by adjusting the contrast, the image or the video will appear to be more crisp and sharper, even though you're really not changing the sharpness. Some kind of a, um, a psychological or subjective uh, impression that you're getting. And uh, I would like uh, to show this uh, to you a little bit uh, to illustrate that it's not the camera hardware that is uh, so important here, but actually um, also what you do with the video afterwards. And uh, of course, I'm not saying that uh, the camera that you use or the hardware that you use is irrelevant, uh, but I simply want to show to you that it's maybe not the only thing uh, that determines whether your image is good or not. And uh, I hope uh, that this way you can also experiment around a little bit and maybe the videos that you already have made or that you're going to make, uh, you can still improve on them. Yeah, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start up uh, DaVinci Resolve and I'm going to show you very basically um, some of the improvements that you can make. At the same time also, of course, trying to, yeah, I want to say that um, this is not a video editing tutorial really. Um, it's a microscopy channel, so if you're interested in that and if I'm able to, to motivate you to, to dig a little bit deeper, uh, then I recommend that you actually uh, watch some dedicated uh, YouTube videos that explain the things a little bit in more detail. But in this video, I just want to show to you what is possible. So let's get started. So this here is uh, the original footage. Uh, it's a tardigrade and you can see that the contrast is not very high. So I think uh, we have to improve on this a little bit. So I started off uh, the program DaVinci Resolve and uh, I'm now switching into the color menu and uh, over here on the left side you can see the histogram and there is a horizontal line uh, and this horizontal line can be dragged up and down and this adjusts uh, the contrast. And what I'm going to do now is, is I'm going to make the bright areas even brighter and the dark areas even darker. And you can see that as I move uh, the line up and down, I can adjust the, the contrast here. And so I'm now converting this straight line into one that looks a little bit like, like a curve and uh, until I'm, I'm, I'm happy. And uh, yeah, I'm switching over now and here I can now adjust also the color itself. Uh, so when I go into the gamma a wheel and you can see if I drag it and pull it then I can give the, everything a bluish tint and here now a reddish orange tint and greenish. Um, so it is possible for me to adjust uh, the overall color. And uh, when I drag it to blue, it kind of gives a little bit of watery uh, impression here. Yeah, so there are different ways on how you can adjust this. And I think the best way is, is to simply experiment around a little bit until you get a result uh, that uh, you're happy with. So yeah, let's uh, move back again in over here. And uh, now I'm going to go into the next clip. Uh, so I've got uh, the same clip of the tardigrade three times. Yeah, and uh, I'm going to again um, adjust the contrast here a little bit. So I'm going to make the bright areas brighter and the dark areas darker. Don't overdo it, uh, but uh, yeah. I think this is going to be fine now. Um, and uh, I'm going to now show you also um, another thing here uh, because uh, when I switch over back uh, in here into the edit uh, tab, I can now actually also zoom in and I can reposition and recenter everything. 
Yeah, and so that's uh, that's a quite an easy way, and uh, this uh, basically um, gives it a little bit, uh, makes it larger again, and uh, this kind of also, even though using the same footage, uh, you're essentially adding a totally new quality to the to the uh, to the video. So, and over here now, uh, let's uh, go back here again, and uh, I'm again in the histogram here. Let's adjust the contrast again a little bit, yeah, and. Uh, now I'm not going to make any color adjustments to it. I'm just going to leave it as uh, as it is, just with the improved contrast. Yeah, so I've got three clips now, and uh, what I want to do now is I want to export them. And uh, in order to export them, of course, I have to type in a a yeah a new file name, um, and uh, I'm going to then yeah click render. Yeah, already I'm going to replace the file, and over here I'm going to click render, and I have to wait a few minutes, and then I have got my finished uh, MP4 file. Now let's have a look at it um, and how it looks like, um, and uh, it takes a couple of minutes, so that is the one with the bluish background, and uh, I'm going to repeat it now again um, in just a second uh, with uh, the one where it's uh, enlarged and uh, no color tint added, yeah, you can see that uh, simply by digitally zooming in, it uh, you can see some details that were not quite visible before. Yeah, and then again, the same clip again, left uh, without any color change here. Yeah, so there are plenty of things that you can uh, experiment with. So this is it. Uh, I hope uh, that you liked the video. Again, I hope it was informative for you. I hope that I'm able, I was able to motivate you to also do, do a little bit of video editing. I think I'm going to make a separate video in the future where I show you how to use uh, some image editing programs to also improve uh, the color um, and the contrast of still images, because that's also something that you might want uh, to do. But for today, I think I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, yeah, I wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always, and see you around next time. Bye-bye.